Jacob Rafael de Cordova was a visionary, publisher, state legislator, city councilman, land agent, and Texas colonizer. He was an odd fellow deputy grand sire, a mason, an elegantly dressed gentleman. He was a linguist and spoke many languages, including English, Hebrew, French, Spanish, German, and several Native American dialects. Jacob was born in Spanish Town, Jamaica on the 6th of June in 1808. He was one of the first to take advantage of the new channel of trade as a result of the Battle of San Jacinto on April 21, 1836. A battle that was fought in what is present-day Laporte and Deer Park, Texas, defeated General Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana's Mexican army in a fight that lasted just 18 minutes. After being held for about three weeks as a prisoner of war, Santa Ana signed the peace treaty, paving the way for the Republic of Texas to become an independent country. The de Cordoba family originally came from Spain, where Gonzalo Fernandez de Cordoba was a Spanish general and statesman. After leading successful campaigns during the conquest of Grenada and the Italian wars, he was given the title El Gran Capitan, the great captain. Legend has it that Gonzalo was knighted after catching an assassin's dart in midair, saving the life of King Ferdinand. Several descendants of Gonzalo also became knights until they were forced to leave during the Spanish Inquisition. Um, we don't have much information uh, prior to the Inquisition, but we do have a pretty decent information that the family were Spanish Jews and were expelled uh, from Spain uh, during the Inquisition. March 31st, 1492, in the Alhambra's resplendent Hall of the Ambassadors, Ferdinand and Isabella signed an edict, the Alhambra Decree, expelling the Jews from Spain. This document gave Spanish Jews four months until July 31st to choose between abandoning their religion or leaving the land where their families had lived for over a thousand years. Whether they fled to Portugal and then from Portugal to uh, Constantinople, but we do know that's where the family's uh, story really picks up. The de Cordova family resided in Constantinople for several generations. Jacob's third and fourth great-grandfathers, Isaac and Moses, were born there. In the 1600s, the de Cordova family left Constantinople and settled in Amsterdam, a religiously tolerant city. Around 1640, Jacob's second great-grandfather, also Jacob, was born in Dutch Brazil. He was an important printer of religious books, publishing in Hebrew, Spanish, and Portuguese. Sometime in the mid-1750s, Jacob's great-uncle moved to Jamaica, a British colony at the time. Jamaica had three separate Jewish congregations um, at the time. Uh, this is in the 17, 1750s and lacked a rabbi. And Joshua Pezekiah de Cordova, uh, Jacob's uh, great uncle, was called to be the rabbi of all three congregations. And he was actually the longest serving rabbi uh, in, in the Jamaica, uh, in Jamaica Jewry history. He actually spent a large amount of time as the rabbi in uh, Dutch Curacao, which still has the original synagogue. Around 1807, Joshua Rafael de Cordova, Jacob's father, settled in Jamaica. On the 1st of May, 1807, the British Parliament passed the Prime Minister's law forbidding any vessel leaving a British port to carry slaves and that no slaves could be brought to any British colony after March, 1808. This caused serious implications to Jamaica because the island was geared toward plantation life. Internal strife between colonists and British soldiers continued for years. Jacob spent his childhood in these times. 